turn four, the end of turn four, uh, in uh, the, the Blitzkrieg le Legend, blah, blah, blah. And uh, over on this section in Belgium, <coughs> uh, we have Liege is right here, and a horde of breakdown units and some fairly strong divisions is uh, focused on kind of pushing the wedge and the line this way, and the French and the Belgians have responded by trying to protect their little sole rail line for supply out, for trace supply, so that they can stay in supply as long as possible. Uh, the Belgians, the French made a mistake last uh, in their fourth and third turn by not uh, you know, loading this thing up with supply so it can hold out even when it is uh, uh, locked down and, and cut off, which is a bit of a problem for them. Uh, in the meantime, the SSV and SST uh, divisions, motorized uh, divisions, I call them panzer divisions earlier on, they're really motorized infantry divisions, uh, generally speaking, these guys are all, uh, yeah. And so they're both uh, wedged in this way and have taken uh, St. Trudan, which is a, a, co a core uh, area on the uh, southern side of the Albert Canal, which runs down here. Uh, it's a nice intersection there that will allow us to stage going forward. We've also broken, Germans have broken through over near Giel and uh, you know, a kind of a temporary line is trying to be formed there to slow them down a little bit. That's the third panzer group and fourth, elements of fourth with 20 motorized uh, bringing up the rear. And here we also have another panzer division I thought, maybe not, that's it. So. Uh, th this is slower than the Germans wanted, but expected to, to be, uh, I guess, this way. Really trying not to fight too many battles here and use up supply, although we have tons of it at the moment. And uh, the SS, we're looking for them to, to, to encircle a few units here and are uh, planning on uh, conducting further operations in this area. So it's uh, it, we, we're going to try and knock this force out entirely by cutting it off and then stage here to uh, find a soft spot here. In the meantime, the French in turn three and turn four, along with the British have uh, started building their line along the, along the river there. And uh, <coughs> they can't build any hedgehogs yet because the stiffened uh, defense has not, or determined defense has not uh, kicked in yet. Right, the Ardennes area, uh, been a few little probing pushes. I should mention that the 7th Panzer has been driving on this side of the Meuse River as well to try and uh, force the pincer, the pincer pinch around here. So in this area the French keep pushing forward and the uh, Germans are reluctant to engage in any serious combat just because they don't want to uh, pull the effort away. But we have managed to take this town of uh, Palaisil uh, with the 29th motorized and some uh, strat moved up uh, divisions and we're going to try and push this way and uh, this should force these guys back. Down near Luxembourg, in the Luxembourg area, it's been a backwards and forwards, uh, little battles and little attempts to cut each other off, but no deep penetrations by the, uh, by the French here. And uh, the Germans have chosen a, a supply route that's deeper, that, so it cuts in here. And my ultimate goal is to get to this hex and use this as our rail uh, and with a wagon to kind of bounce from, because this is France here, these two little hexes here where the rail goes through a French. So we want to bounce our wagon around there to there so that we can uh, stay off French rail. That's my goal is to get a, a supply line kind of going this way. <coughs> And that will then allow me to go deep to Paris and also to the coast if I needed to. Now, over on this part of the Ardennes, we did manage to break through with, the Germans have had four uh, turns where they've won initiative. So they had the back-to-back, -back, turn one, turn two, and turn three, turn four, they also picked up uh, initiative first. That's just how the die have uh, fallen. So, uh, there are, there are a ton of units down here, but we're starting to pay the price. Uh, the 
lovely thing about this game, which I might actually just make a separate little video and I'll talk about. Some of the rhythms of OCS are really, really cool. Uh, and it's a, if you're into, not just into sequence of play, but into how a game develops its own rhythm uh, that feels right, then you'll like OCS. It's a, it's a very, very uh, elegant system sometimes. So we, the Germans kind of, you know, well and truly crossed here. Only, well, we only have a one hex penetration breakthrough on this uh, one fortress, but that's all you need on this rail line. We may, uh, may take this guy out now that he's uh, surrounded. We'll be able to get a, we'll hit this uh, hex here. So we've got a two hex wedge, but the Germans <coughs> uh, facing brutal stiff resistance here. And in fact, we just lost, uh, the Germans just lost uh, units from 6th Panzer, a Panzer Battalion and Kleist's uh, MG Battalion were killed. And then in the uh, exploitation phase, uh, reserve units were released, which was additional hardy. And we had two artillery fires that were key. One on this huge stack here, which has strat mode units in it. And this one here, which was the forward elements that have 5th Panzer, yeah, it's an almost an entire uh, division. Is, has been uh, disrupted here and they're now cut off because of the successful attack, follow on attack on 6th Panzer here. So the, the, the French are really relying on artillery <coughs> and concentrated armor attacks. This happened to be two divisions of, uh, did I overstack? No, okay, nine, nine, uh, nine Rees, not, uh, not more. So uh, they recaptured the air did a good job of it. And we still have uh, second, no, oh, sorry, first armored and uh, third armored here in reserve to kind of dive in and hit breakpoints. But I feel like we're starting to clog things up and slow down the approach uh, of the Germans, the, the, the momentum of the Germans. So it's been kind of cool. Uh, the rest of the map, we've really focused on just getting units up and forward. Uh, I posted some comments about virtual conditions in the game and made a mistake, but realized that uh, there is no uh, column shift for uh, the, the two traditional campaign games. There's only a column shift for um, the alt history ones. So that's changed my uh, viewpoint on whether it's worthwhile defending the ports or not. And, the, and change my opinion on the importance of these two cities for done and Mets. So we'll we'll talk more about that some other time. All right, I'm gonna get on to set five now.